Well, it, it's been refreshing in so much as telling my parents was the biggest anchor that I needed to get off my chest because I've been totally keeping them in the dark for the past 10 years. So that was number one that I wanted to do. And I only just did that last week in preparation for everything that was coming. Uh, so that was certainly one. And uh, the second most important one to me was I'm a big brother for big brothers, little, little sisters. And um, I had to call his mother because I've been uh, his big brother for three years. So I had to call his mother and I was afraid because of some people have like negative connotations with CIA and they think the waterboarding and all of that stuff. And I was afraid she'd be like, oh wait, I've let my son hang out with the CIA guy for the past three, like I'm a horrible mother, you know? And when I told her, she started screaming and go, not in like agony, but like, say what? Like, you cannot be serious right now. And uh, she's like, I need to hang up. And then she called me back like five minutes later. And then she's like, hang up, I need to think about this. And then finally she's like, you know what? I think it's awesome. So keep on keeping on. And you can definitely, I look forward to you telling uh, my son that you've been doing this as well. So it's been pretty cool. And all of that has been a tremendous weight off of my chest, so. Yeah. What was your parents' reaction? Uh, well, uh, at the time, I mean, obviously it was a lot for them, you know, to know that your son's been doing this. For my mom, the hardest part was, wow, my son's been in harm's way for the past 10 years. So she took that really hard. But I said, hey, look, I'm here. You can touch me. <laughs> like, I'm not scarred in any way, you know? Like, I'm all right. And so uh, my dad is a military guy, though. So he was like, oh, great. You know, <laughs> that's good to hear. I'm proud of you. Uh, lately, though, it's been pretty hard for him because the media likes to say what the media wants to say. And so they've been dealing with all of that different publicity, which is new to him, too, seeing me on television, seeing me in the New York Times. They're like, that, that's, our, that's our baby. You know? <laughs> so uh, it's been interesting, but we'll all make it through. Did they have any idea? So I was shocked at how little idea they had. But the thing is, they live back in the Midwest. So for them, they didn't have as much contact, continual contact with me, like close friends in the DC area. After a while, there's only so many weird things you can do before they're like, dude, just tell us, you know? So, but for them, they only saw me on the holidays and I could prepare and like be locked tight with my story about living in Hawaii, you know, and read the Hawaii Times every day before I went and met them. So. For them, they were kept the furthest in the dark, and so it was the biggest kind of wow factor for them.